Hey guys, and happy new year. Happy 2017 to all of you. I am so excited for this year because I'm really going to focus on this channel and just beauty and makeup in general and becoming a makeup artist and all that fun jazz. I hope your guys' 2017 is off to a good start. I decided to kick off this year with a super fun video that's been going around on YouTube everywhere and they're probably one of my favorite videos to watch at the moment. Um, it's the best of 2016 beauty tag. I guess it's a tag video. I really don't know. And obviously what it is is just beauty gurus and just people on the internet just talking about their favorite products of 2016. And I think it's so fun because everyone has such a select favorites of beauty products, makeup, hair products, clothing, just everything. So I'm just going to stop chit-chatting and I'm just going to jump in. I really don't know where to start with this, honestly. Um, oh gosh, I don't even know. I'm probably just going to start... Um... I guess with palettes, I'll start with palettes first. I'll just kind of, kind of group it together. I just have a table full of products right now, honestly. I have so many and I wanted to choose a lot more, but I decided I should probably just stop or else the video would probably be a solid 40 minutes long. So, mm, these aren't in any specific order of which one's the best. I'm just grabbing whichever one I grab first. So, my first product right now to talk about is the Morphe Little Palette. I really haven't seen too many people talk about these. I think the palette is $9.99. Um, I got the palette in Coca Mocha. I just thought it was perfect. And this is like my everyday go-to. Like, if I'm running late or just confused on what look to throw together, I grab this palette. There... The shadows are awesome. It's your typical Morphe formulation and everything. And I absolutely love them. Just perfect neutrals, transition shades, and for 10 bucks, you can't beat such a high-end palette. I absolutely love them. I forgot the name if I wanted. It was more of oranges and reds and maroons and all that jazz. But that one was sold out. I only got this one because it was the only one available, and I wasn't sure how quickly these would sell out. So I just picked one up, and probably the best 10 bucks I think I spent this year, honestly. And then the next palette that's on my favorites is, no shocker, I've made a whole video about this palette actually. Um, this is the Becca Jaclyn Hill Face Palette. Absolutely love this. It's probably, it's not going to focus. Well anyway, probably, if I had to name my favorite product of 2017, it would actually probably be this palette. Because when I go on vacation, when I travel, this is just my go-to palette. I'm sure you guys have all seen it. It's just nice because it has a huge mirror. The mirror is such high quality. It's awesome. And then it comes with the two highlighters, Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop, obviously. And then it comes with the three blushes. And it's just perfect. Like, if I'm really feeling really fun and girly, I kind of go for this one over here. And then for my everyday blush, I honestly, I go with Amaretto in the middle. I absolutely love it. And then, um... Gosh, I think that's Rose Spritz, I think is the name of this one. I use this one a lot in the summer, actually, just because it has, like, almost a shimmer in it. And it's just, it just has a perfect, like, golden undertone. And it just really is just gorgeous for the summer. It's just my go-to. And I've used this every day since the day I bought it. And there's not even really a dent in there. And I'm currently wearing Champagne Pop as my highlight right now. I could just talk about this palette all day. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Um, my next, sorry, I'm just going to throw those on the floor because they're big, just to get them out of the way. So my next palette, I decided, um, I didn't want to put too many, Morphe is like one of my favorite brands, but I had to choose another Morphe palette, um, out of the stuff I have, and I was going to do the 350, but I decided to go with the Fall into Frost because lately I found myself grabbing for the Fall into Frost a lot more than the 350, and I'm sure you guys have all seen this one too. Again, just... This is perfect because you could go for an everyday look with this or you could totally go completely dramatic with this palette and that's absolutely what I love about it. It's just, and again, such high quality shadows and you could clearly see which ones I've used a little bit more than others. And these eyeshadows up here are awesome highlighters as well. Just, it has like multi-purposes and honestly you could even use some of these down here to contour your face if you're running out of a bronzer or a contour kit or anything. It's honestly just perfect. And again, all these shadows, I think the palette was like $35 after tax. Don't quote me on that. But again, Morphe is so affordable and just such good products. Um, next, I guess I'll go into like foundations and concealers. And then I'll move on to like eyes, I guess. I'm trying to group this together for you guys. Hands down, favorite foundation of 2016 is the Kat Von D um, Matte Locket Foundation. I'm wearing it right now. I mean, I made it look a little bit more dewy because I have a whole bunch of jazz on my face. But this stuff, 
is so full coverage and for someone like me who has a red undertone it has a bunch of acne scarring this stuff covers anything and everything and it's definitely worth your buck i think it's 40 something dollars this foundation but i absolutely love it it's i just Kat Von D just rocked it with this foundation um a little goes a very very long way with this i've been using this when did i buy this i think i bought this in october and i clearly I've only gone through this much and still have a ton of product left. Definitely worth the buck. And then my favorite, this is actually from the drugstore. If you're looking for a really good um, drugstore foundation, this is probably my second favorite foundation I've had. Um, it's a complete opposite of this one. I usually use this one in the summer. The L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation. Again, you guys have probably seen this too. But it really is an amazing product. I use this in the summer when I want to go for a super dewy and natural and glowing look. I like to be more matte in the winter so this is perfect um it's pretty full coverage um you have to use a little bit more product with this one it is a little runny runny compared to the Kat Von D one but you could definitely build this out the full coverage and it looks very dewy um for me it's almost like whoa you look almost too oily but once you go ahead and put some powder on it really just gives you that perfect summer glow with this you will, don't want to use a super mattifying powder just maybe a translucent powder or just a very light powder and just barely run it through your face so you still have that glow but it's not like whoa girl you need to go blot some stuff off your face you know we've all had days like that um and then for concealer um I really don't use concealer too often I've used I have one Urban Decay one which I'm completely out of I like this one but honestly this one right here is my favorite concealer I've used it's very full coverage and it's very creamy and it just it rocks it's the master conceal um is by Maybelline I absolutely love this one it's super inexpensive I think it's like I think it's $12 don't quote me on that I haven't picked one up in a while because like I said I don't wear concealer often because I usually spend way too I I'm just always wearing late and I'd rather put foundation and bronzer on than conceal so I don't know okay and then that one is just awesome and obviously I just apply it under my eyes, forehead, down here, on the bridge of my nose. And I just use my beauty blender and just go to town and it really does give you a full coverage and it just blends so nicely into your foundation. Definitely worth the investment of $12. Um, next, let's see. The only other face product I have makeup wise is a bronzer. Um, this is by Too Faced and it is the Dark Chocolate Soleil. Soleil deep tan matte bronzer I absolutely love this stuff I have started to hit pan on this one um, I'm a little too white right now to use this this is definitely for when you're looking a little darker and I absolutely love it it just gives you that perfect like summer bronze look that every girl dies for and this is it like you absolutely need this oh, gosh I love this stuff so much and I'm really excited to get dark again I'm still currently using a Too Faced one right now but it doesn't give that like summer bronze effect like this one does so definitely this is great and I smell like chocolate which is pretty bomb it is nothing better than when you're going to town and get this contouring and blending and then you just get like a whiff of chocolate in the morning and I swear it's like the greatest feeling ever so next I think I'm just gonna talk about eyes eyeshadows eye um, eyeliner brushes just everything I'm just eyes is just one giant category um, my favorite I have two favorite, no, I, line, I have four eyeliners to show you. Um, I'll do liquid eyeliners first. Um, okay, here it is. Okay, my absolute favorite liquid eyeliner is the Kat Von D ink liner. It is perfect. It's the blackest eyeliner, one of the blackest eyeliners I've ever seen, and it stays on all day. I've gone on vacation, and I've gone swimming all day, and I came out of the water, and my wings were still sharp, sharp enough to kill someone, basically. Um, this stuff is awesome. It's not too expensive. I think it's $20 for an eyeliner and it lasts me a really long time. Um, this one's actually empty. I was going to go get one after I filmed this video. I need to go stop at Sephora and Ulta real quick. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this stuff. And what I really like about this is I'm so weird about my eyeliner brushes. Whoa, the lighting's changing. Sorry about that. Um, my favorite uh, brushes for eyeliner is the really stiff ones. I don't like eyeliner pens that kind of like flop and they're just really floppy I don't like that it messes me off because I don't have the steadiest hand in the world so I really like this one because it's really stiff and stays in place and it's perfect I 
think I've probably gone through almost probably I probably go through about 10 of these a year honestly I use them so much not just on me I use them on other people and then just goofing around and just everything this is just always the eyeliner I usually grab for and then um this is my second favorite eyeliner this is the um Lancome oh gosh grandiose liner I don't even know how to say it but first off this packaging is freaking bomb like it's gorgeous I absolutely love it it looks so high-end and luxurious and wait for it this brush is awesome because you know it's perfect for big if you ever know when you're wanting to do like your other eye and your nose just gets in the way well this you don't have that problem because the brush just freaking moves everywhere and it's bomb it's perfect and this is actually the blackest liquid eyeliner I've ever seen. This one is blacker than the Fit Kat Von D. It stays black all day. It's literally like mind shocking how dark it is. I'm not even wearing an eyeliner right now, so I wish I had one of these on to show you. The only thing I don't like about this eyeliner is because I was debating if I wanted to put in my uh, favorites video, is that the brush is like the opposite of the Kat Von D's. It's very floppy and just loose and it's like an actual paintbrush and I personally just don't like that about it because it just messes me up and I just can't get the cleanest lines. What I like to use this for is to like um, with my fake eyelashes because I reuse them if there's like if they aren't like completely black at the bottom of the lash. I go on with this really quick or if I'm not doing a wing and just want like a little bit of eyeliner on top of my lashes this is what I use and in, or even sometimes I'll go over the Kat Von D with this just to give that full black if I'm going out and have a black smoky eye on. This is the mascara, not the mascara, what am I talking about? This is the eyeliner you want to use for sure. Um, oh my god, I lied, I have five eyeliners actually to show you. Um, these two are pencil eyeliners. This is the blackest and creamiest, most pigmented like pencil eyeliner I've ever seen. It's the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. And it literally just glides on, like you don't even have to put pressure, just nothing just it glides on so nice and so pigmented the only thing I would change about this is I wish it was a twist up instead of this because I can't freaking sharpen this thing there's so much product in here and I just can't get it to sharpen right so if you have any tips on sharpening eyeliners just let me know because usually if it's not a twist up I don't buy it for this purpose but this stuff I use in my tight line almost every day and it is so dark and just makes your lashes look so full because it's so dark and creamy and there's nothing more you can ask for in an eyeliner than that. Like, I just can't go back to like another basic black eyeliner. I just can't after using that. But then there is another one behind it that's second. I use a lot too though. This, it is, it's a Marc Jacobs. Um, does it even have like a name? Um... The Marc Jacobs Fine Line Ultra Skinny Gel Eye Crayon. It was in fine print, the name. But, again, it just has the typical standard bougie-looking Marc Jacobs packaging. It looks all luxurious. Um, I actually, I used to have a black one. I thought this was black when I bought it. But it's actually, like, an eggplant color. And, sorry, I'm, like, trying to swatch it for you guys. It's running low, too, but it's, like, this perfect, like, dark eggplant where it doesn't look too purple, but seeing I have green eyes, it just makes my eyes pop. Like, if I use, like, um, a, like, a reddish or maroonish, I usually put this in my tight line, and this gives that eye just that extra pop, and it looks so pretty. Or even in my waterline, it's perfect. It's literally just perfect. I definitely recommend those. Um, the Marc Jacobs one is definitely a little bit pricier than the um, Urban Decay one because Marc Jacobs is just a more luxurious brand, but they're both definitely worth the investment. Now, my next one is actually from the drugstore. You can get it at um, Rite Aid. You could get it at Target. Um, I don't use this one too much, but when I do, I actually really do like it. Um, it's the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil Crayon, um, and this is in cottage cheese. That sounds so odd. Um, but it just looks like this. It's a white eye crayon. And I absolutely love this stuff for just, I know it's a little bit larger, so it's kind of hard to use. You're, I think you're supposed to use it as an eyeshadow. I don't. I managed to put it underneath. And this gives your eyes a very nice, natural kind of glow underneath. It's nice if you're not going to go ahead and smoke out your eye. If you're just going to put mascara on. 
and it's just super nice and actually I've used this as a highlighter a few times it's just super it's not gonna focus it's just super creamy and then if you go ahead and blend it out you can honestly put this on your cheeks and just use it as a highlight and it just looks so natural if you're looking for um like a super dramatic like highlight like highlight when I'm wearing it right now um you wouldn't want to use this but if you're younger and you're just looking for a really natural glow almost this would be perfect because it would just look super natural and just like your skin super moisturized and it would be perfect um eyes 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 um i have no i'm debating which one i want to do i'm just gonna move on to eyebrows actually okay so my ride or die i will never use another brow pencil again because I am obsessed with the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Oh my god, this game, this, oh, it changed the eyebrow game. It's, it looks like your typical eyebrow pencil has a spoolie on this side. And then it looks like this, but it's nice because it's angled and it's so nice to just go in and get that arch. My eyebrows look like a hot mess right now though. I do need to go get them done, but this is just makes it so nice. And so little product goes such a long way. This pencil is so pigmented. Like, ugh. anyone who asks me for, like, advice on brows, this is what I go for. This is just perfect. I just, I can't put it into words. Like, it just makes you so happy. And then, um, there's a few others I like, but that one's definitely my favorite. Um, but then to set your brows, this product, um, I haven't experimented around too much with Benefit's new brow line because they had that amazing, um, brow launch, but, um, I did get their brow gel. This is the Benefit Ready Set Brow. And again, there's a typical adorable Benefit packaging. But this thing, seriously, like this, the combination of the two, like your brows are ready to go. Like you can rule the world with your brows, honestly, because this stuff is so bomb. This is what the brush looks like. This side right here, I'm just going to explain it briefly to you because I highly recommend it. And it doesn't look like your typical setting gel. This side right here with the longer um, bristles, that's just kind of coated on and just kind of loosely like sweep them over. But then when you go in and the short bristle side, this goes in individually and it grabs every single um, hair and it just drags them where you want it. This is where you go ahead and you create the shape of you want you want for your brows. That's the reason I can get an arch in my brow, honestly, is with this thing because it just takes everything to shapes them exactly how you want it. Um, it does dry a little slow though, so don't touch your eyebrows too much. Um, I think it probably does take about three minutes for them to dry, which isn't too bad, but it's not like instant like drying, but girl, you need this in your life for sure. Oh, I had an eyeshadow. Okay, I guess we're gonna go back to the eyes because I forgot this. This is the only eyeshadow I have to show you guys. Um, this is by ColourPop and it's a cream eyeshadow in Paradox. And it's just like a gorgeous, not exactly maroon, probably more of a cranberry color. But, oh my god, I, it's a little ugly because I kind of broke it, but it's such a pretty color. Um, I have it all messed up. I need to order a new one because um, these eyeshadows aren't a typical eyeshadow. It almost feels like a bouncy, like the Maybelline bouncy blushes, if you know what I'm talking about, but not as bouncy. But, but they're not exactly a cream shadow because when it goes on your finger, it's a powder. I don't know. ColourPop, I'm mind, blo mind blown because I don't know how these shadows work. But seeing it isn't like a powder, um, it is a kind of a cream based eyeshadow. I um, forgot to put the lid on one day and it just dried it out so bad. So make sure you put your lid on or else you kind of ruined your shadow because I have to go in there and like dig with the brush to get some. So I'm probably going to reorder one probably after this because I might as well just go spend all my money and just keep shopping. So that is what it is. But definitely the ColourPop eyeshadows are ride, like are ride or dies. They're so affordable and so pigmented and luxurious and just perfect and this is my like go-to shadow like I make it makes such like a casual look so glam and it's just so nice okay so I just realized I've already been filming for 20 minutes so I'm gonna try to wrap this up real quick um real fast um this probably goes back to your face I should have said this in your face this is what I use to apply my highlighter and it's my favorite brush and it's so affordable um it's by elf it's actually the the flawless concealer brush, but it's so tight, but it's like the perfect size for your highlight just to go in. It was like it was less than five dollars, and it's just so not it's just perfect because it really packs it on. Um, 
it's I like it better than using a fan brush honestly because I feel like I just really shaped the highlighter how I want it and just blend it out just a little I feel like it's a perfect size and I just absolutely love it and then okay now I'll talk about lips real fast and then I'll move on to like hair and skin and then we're done so um these lip products are my absolute favorite this year um everyone's talked about them and I decided to go ahead and buy them um I also have um, a whole video about this lipstick actually and it's also the one I'm wearing it's Jeffree Star's liquid lip in unicorn blood love it love it love it I get so many compliments when I wear this um it stays on all day absolutely all day I mean I just got done eating and my lips look flawless and literally it's so pigmented and a little goes such a long ways um I should have made an updated video honestly because I did like a first impressions kind of video of it and the more I started to wear it, the more I fell in love with it. And it's just perfect, absolutely perfect in every way and form. And then my next one is the Kylie Jenner um, Gloss in Candy K. Looks like this. Um, I wear this by itself because it's literally almost like a lipstick. It's so pigmented. This isn't a gloss you would just go put on in the car and you don't need to look. Like, you actually need to look because you actually have to, like, line your lips with it. Um, it's base like I said it's literally like a lipstick like it's so pigmented and so pretty this is really close actually to my natural lip shades so it's just like that perfect if I just want a little something and again love it absolutely love it um oh my gosh I forgot I had these two okay one more thing for the eyes and then we're moving on um, these are fake eyelashes. I don't have them with me. I found the box. Um, I get questions everywhere I go, every picture I post, about what lashes I usually wear. And of course, I'm not wearing them today. But it's the Eyler Definition Lashes, if that's how you say it. I don't know. Well, anyway, this is what the box looks like. Um, you can go on my Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, anything, and or even my Facebook. Every Basically, every single photo I post, this, these are the lashes I wear. Um, they're $4.99. They're from Target. Go pick them up. I get more compliments on these. And then when I go ahead and like go to House of Lashes and get lashes from there. Love House of Lashes, but I get so many compliments on these. They're just so, like, they're not, like, natural looking, but they're not so dramatic. It's like, girl, you need to calm down a little bit. Like, it's just the perfect amount of lash, honestly. I've never seen anyone talk about this product, actually. Um, I don't know how to say this. It's Bosatia. Is that how you say it? I don't know how to say it. Well, anyway, um, all my other products are actually from them, but they have, um, it's a white charcoal mattifying makeup setting spray. Absolutely love this stuff. You want to go ahead and shake it because it gets the minerals all activated and everything in it. But, like, a little goes a long way, and I just threw it at myself. Go me. Um, I use it when I do as a primer, too, and then also as a setting spray, and your face ain't going nowhere. I've literally sweated so much I know gross but with this stuff my makeup didn't even move like not at all okay then this is my face wash that I absolutely love also my Bosatia it's the, to the detoxifying black cleanser looks like this love this stuff um it makes your skin feel so good and it gets every ounce of makeup off your face um you're supposed to use it twice a day um I usually use it once a day, but I absolutely love it. And ever since I started using this and the black charcoal mask, these two, I guess they just go hand in hand. You guys have all seen the black mask that you peel off. Hurts my skin terribly to take that mask off, but the results, like these two together, have cleared my skin so much. And these literally, everyone needs these. Like, oh my god, they're so good. It just makes your skin feel so good. It cleared my acne almost all the way. I mean, I still get breakouts every here and there, but my skin looks so much better than it did. That is for sure. Um, just, yes, everything about those. Okay, next I'm going to do hair products, and we are done. I am a hairstylist. I am a hair product hoarder. I have too many. Um, I poured makeup, and I also hoard hair products. I have so many. Um, okay, real fast, I guess I'll start with dry shampoo. This is so affordable. I think it's like $7 for something. Well, the big can. I just get the little can. Um, of the uh, Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo. This is perfect. Um, I don't even really use it for dry shampoo. My hair doesn't get oily, really. But it's perfect to give just a little, like, lift in your hair, honestly. If you just need some volume, you just go ahead, lift it, just spray it. Go ahead, scrub it in, and your hair doesn't have some volume. It's absolutely perfect for that. 
And also, if your hair is oily, it does do justice for that. Um, every now and then, I don't wash my conditioner out all the way, and I just go ahead and put that on, and you would never know I had conditioner in there. It's perfect. Next, um, this is the Redken Extreme Anti-Snap Leave-In Treatment for Distressed Hair. My hair, obviously, has been through a lot. Um, you guys have seen videos of me with black hair, and then I had platinum blonde hair for years, and then now my hair is purple, so it's been through some damage. I mean, it's doing fine, but I try to take care of it. Um, this stuff you have to have, you have to go to a salon to get it, or if you want to buy it at a store, you have to have your license and go into Salon Centric to get it. But it's um, absolutely awesome. You just run it through, um, uh, what's it called? Towel dryish hair, not soaking wet, but you want hair that's a little bit damp, and it makes your hair so soft, and it just mends your split ends together, and just puts moisture in your hair, and just gives your hair life again, and it's freaking bomb. Um, next, I have. A hair mask, like I was saying, my hair has been through a lot. Um, every time I wash my hair, I do a hair mask. This is the Bedhead Dumb Blonde Reconstructed for Chemically Treated Hair. This is what saved my head. Honestly, I was complaining about my hair being dead for so long. The second I started using this, my hair is healthy AF again. Like, oh my gosh, I love this stuff. A little goes a long way. Um, it has a weird scent, though. Not weird. It smells like papaya. That's like an random really random scent but it smells like papayas and I, I mean I like it other people don't like it but whatever um this stuff this literally um like a quarter size drop run it through your ends you don't want to put it everywhere because it, I know it's made my roots a little bit greasy but this stuff oh my god you just leave it on for 10 minutes leave it on while you go ahead and just shave and wash your body do whatever you do in the shower and rinse it out go ahead and then apply your conditioner after but this stuff literally saves heads like oh my gosh i recommend this to so many clients um it's just freaking amazing honestly it's a little bit pricey um i think it's like 20 ish dollars 23 dollars i don't know i got the salon i work at so i get a discount on it but it's freaking amazing okay next um i'll do a shampoo um, my absolute favorite shampoo is by Healthy Sexy Hair, the sulfate-free soy moisturizing shampoo um, with soy, coca, co uh, cacao, and argan oil. Um, it's free of uh, gluten, Caribbean, and salt, which are awful that most shampoos have, and Pantene, don't use Pantene. This stuff is awesome. This also saved my hair. I use this. My hair just looks so healthy. I used it today. I noticed when I use my purple shampoo, um... My hair doesn't look as shiny and healthy as it does when I use this. It just puts so much moisture in my hair and just really makes it feel so clean and just nice again. It's just, and it's so light on the head. It's just really a good product, honestly. If you're just looking to put moisture back in your hair, honestly, I really recommend this. Um, next, oh my gosh, I love this. Oh, and again, with this one, you have to get a salon or you have to get a salon-centric with a license. It's not something you can pick up at the drugstore. The only hair product I have that's from the drugstore is the Not Your Mother's. Um, now, my favorite conditioner. Oh, my gosh. I freaking love this stuff. I first heard about this brand. It was a couple years ago um, at the America's Beauty Show up in Chicago. And I was like, I don't know. I didn't love it at first. And then I decided to experiment with it a little bit more because I like it because it's a very natural brand. And I like natural things so um anyway so i saw it again at salon centric and i was like okay i'm gonna try it again this conditioner is seven dollars which is very affordable for a high-end hair product like you can't beat that because usually i'm paying 30 40 dollars for a bottle of something but um it's the brand is called verb um and this is the enrich restore soft and hydrating conditioner you leave this on it says to leave it on for three to five minutes so again i just let it sit there and do its thing it has no Peruvians, no gluten, no sulfites, and you recognize a lot of the oils in here. It has um, keratin, protein, has sunflower seed extract. You just recognize a bunch of the ingredients, which I like a lot. And, oh my gosh, this, it hydrates your hair so much. And it's so affordable. I highly recommend this, guys. Just find a way to get it. Um, I haven't seen Verbs um, at a salon, so I'm sure somewhere in the family or friend line you have someone who has to be a cosmetologist. 
So definitely go to a salon centric and pick this up. I absolutely love it and you can't beat it for $7, honestly. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed all the products I showed you. I'm sorry, I'm like mumbling so fast. I just had so many things to talk about. I loved all these products and I've repurchased them so many times throughout the year. And I just, I love all of them so much. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to film. I really miss being on camera and filming for you guys. And I hope they get better about that. And I'm going to try to upload at least once, at least once a week from now on. Don't quote me on that. I'm going to try. I'm going to try maybe even twice. It just depends what I got going on. I'm just going to quit mumbling and everything. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe down here. I would really appreciate it. And I guess I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out, Girl Scout.